know what I mean? I think that's important. Um, so, okay, so look, talking about music now, um, I appreciate the shout out on the last on the last track. That track was that the Walk on Water. That shit was, you know, that meant a lot to me. Big James Todd Smith Smith. That was dope for me. You know, I was walking around and said, people, oh, you fucking, oh, yeah. you know. I mean, <laughs> you know, you know, when you get a fucking, it's certain shout outs. It, you know, even you know. You know, and I say this with humility, but even being LL Cool J, there's certain shout outs when you're walking around, people are like, oh, hello, yeah. I mean, oh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's great. You know what I mean? With the, yeah, so it's, um, it feels good, so I appreciate that. So we almost wrapping this thing up, but let's talk about music for a minute, just the creative side of it. What, what are your thoughts about the future for M? You know, what is what is Marshall thinking about musically? Without divulging anything that yeah, you yeah. don't want to talk about, what are your, what are your feelings? Well... I'm always gonna. I don't want to say always, but right now I I I record. I write, record, write, record, write, record, mm -hmm. and for whatever it gets used for. You know, I'm just always doing that because it's mm -hmm. my passion. So we can we can the 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 Eminem fans out there can 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 be pretty pretty uh confident that, that and hopeful that an, an album will come at some point in the I, future. Yes, absolutely. Okay, that's good to know. Mo D, yeah. You talked to Mo D? Yeah, I talked to Mo D. You know, it's funny. Um, I play, I play cannabis second round knockout on the station. I play Mo D shit of raps about me on the station, and I play those things because it's about the culture, right? And it, and it's competition. Whether people think I won, I lost. Whether they feel it doesn't matter. What it's about is it's about lifting up the culture. It's not. This is not a LL vanity fucking egocentric thing where I'm just like up here rubbing my own balls with you know chamomile shampoo or right. fucking you know what I mean? you know what I mean it's like I'm like really doing this for the culture you okay. know what I mean I, I do that though you do the chamomile yeah. shampoo <laughs> You're, you're a bigger man than us because yeah. we, we don't play the diss songs towards Eminem on Shade 45. With those go in the bin. Uh, but you know what? And you, and you know what? They rightfully probably sh should. But I just feel like, for me, and this is not a, uh, it's not a judgment, man. It's just I do. It's, I think classic hip hop in the genre. You know, because the time frames are a little different. I yeah. think M is still in the fray a little bit. I think M is still out there. You know. You know, duking it out and doing. I'm not trying to. You know, me and Mo D are not planning a fucking battle tour. This, Fair enough. You know, yeah. we. You know, this is about the culture. So it's a little. It's, so there's nothing wrong with you guys putting it in the bin. And if I was over there, I'd probably treat it like dog shit too, and wouldn't play none of that shit. But over here, on the classic side, it's cool to just give people the culture. It's incredible that you do that because you know, a, a lot of these kids, man, coming up right now, don't. I'm not gonna say everyone, but there's. I don't know if 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 like if they hold us in regard like I hold you in regard and Run DMC. You know what I'm saying? Like if if there's if there's a respect. Well, they there is. They do. They hold you in regard because I, you know, remember I do. I still do lip sync battle and I do NCISLA and I have kids. Well, more lip sync battle than than NCISLA, but I have kids that come up to me and I hear the things that they say to me and talk to me about and they love you. Like you're. Well, it's, it's not even just me. I'm talking about. You talking about the the, the I'm talking the about generation. Like, if these kids understand, you know, what you mm. are to rap. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And were when you first came out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. what, what? And and the battle between you and Modi, like, yeah. and just hearing the back and forth on record, and and people getting to see an actual, pretty much like, spectators watching a battle. Yeah. Like all of that was 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 so important to hip hop, and and I wish I wish that these kids could experience my first time hearing an LL Cool J record, or my first time hearing a Cool G rap record. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Rakim came like. My first time hearing that and experiencing that and trying to get home by 4.30 because MTV Raps might play the new LL video. They might play the new EPMD video. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, the feeling of that is what I feel bad for a lot of these kids for not... They'll mm -hmm. never get to really experience that because everything's on their phones and it's so accessible. You know, I was saying this the other day. I said, I, I almost feel like there might be more people that rap than actually listen to rap now. Do you know what I'm saying? It's very or possible. Just as, just as many. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Because everyone, and that's what's great. Honestly, I never thought that hip-hop could get bigger than 
it was mm -hmm. even 10 years ago mm -hmm. but it's like it's it's the biggest it's the absolute biggest music on the planet it's in my opinion the best music on the planet but it's even bigger than it was and it just keeps getting bigger and it's it's mm -hmm. incredible to me that that and great that a lot of these kids coming up can have something like yo i can i can do this now you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When we were coming up, it was like, man, if somebody didn't hear your fucking demo, you're fucked. You're out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's like, just watching that is like, that's incredible to me. But again, you know, just experiencing that, you know, I played Haley, I'm bad, the video, right? Mm -hmm. And I said, I want, she knows who you are because she knows how to talk about you. But um, I said, just, just picture being a kid and seeing this video for the first time. So she watched it and she was like, you know what? I can see why you liked it. I absolutely can see why you liked it because I like it. That video like, was crazy. The kidnap shorty in the beginning. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. You it's... know, it's funny, man. I remember, you know, doing that video and, and doing all of that stuff. And, you know, I'm just real grateful. You know what I mean? I'm very grateful. Um, you know, the things that have happened in my life, I'm very thankful for. I'm not, I don't take any of this for granted. Um, you know, the only place I'm ever, you know, only place I'm doing arrogant and cocky is on the records, because I'm supposed to. But other right. than that, I'm not going near that shit. That shit is poison. Um, and I'm just, you know, I'm just glad to to be able to do this for the culture, man. You know, yeah. and and I, you know, I just want to say again, you know, because you have, you know, your own channel, you have your own life, you have a huge career. I appreciate you guys participating and being a part of this because I think that, like I told you. Offline, you know, a couple of hundred years from now, this is going to matter. Yeah. This is for posterity. This is about the legacy. This is about the culture. We are basically giving people the the. We are documenting history. Right. You know what I mean? We yeah. because we are, you know, a generation that grew up with the music. We know all of the players, and it's like we still have the founding fathers here with us. It's like, you know, running around with the founders of, of a nation, like the whole genre of music. We have the founding fathers with us. So, you know, this classic hip-hop thing is important. So that being said, look, I appreciate you for being here, man. Um, you know, I appreciate the fact that you dedicated yourself to the craft the way you have. Um, Thank you. It matters to me. You know what I'm saying? I like the fact that you're passionate about what you're doing. You're a man of your word. And um, I just, you know, the best is yet to come, baby. You know, it's more yeah, to be done. Yeah, speaking of best is yet to come, uh, that, uh, I wish I could talk about those songs that I heard that you did. Uh, yo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Me, Al, and, and Mr. Porter, man, were fucking losing it. We heard three songs. Yeah, thanks. You and know, I'm just, I'm, holy yo, mold. what is, what is up with that? Oh, like, I, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm definitely at some, at some point, I gotta get in there and do some music. Um, you know, like I, like I even said, I would love for us to, you know, fuck around with something. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, I, I think I, the world I, needs to hear those records, like right now. The three that I heard, we may or may have not have heard some things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We no, may no. or may have not. Yeah. yeah, I've been in. Look, I've been in the studio, um, experiment with a lot of different people and doing different shit. And um, I definitely want to give the world some more music. I want to give the world a body of music that is absolutely explosive. And I got a lot of shit that I want to say and a lot of shit I want to get off my chest. Um. Uh, I have um, a, a myriad of fuck yous I want to hand out. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like personal fuck yous that I want to hand out. And yeah. uh, not much has changed. You know, yeah. So it's, you know, it's it's just, you know, like I told, I, I'm going to be honest. I told Z this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give it. I said, I said, I'm at, I'm at my best. When, or musically, I'm at my best when I'm doing one or two things. Either I'm really angry or really horny. <laughs> ah, right. <laughs> you know? Right. If I'm really fucking angry or if I'm really fucking horny, you're going to get a fucking great record. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm a, I'm a little both. Right, well, I'm angry right now. Hopefully, I was going to say you're neither right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, you're neither. Yeah, yeah. I had to be careful, yeah, because right. the go. horny would have really went left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would have right. really been nuts. Hey, yo, yo, yeah. Have you, you heard Brass Knuckles yet? You know that track? Brass Knuckles, nope. It's Wait. A new track, new track we did right here. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's you know, no, 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 no. Don't, don't downplay it. It's dope. For for an LL fan, look, there's I two, there's it. three LL fans right here. You heard it? I heard it. You heard it? Yes. I have not heard it yet. Are we gonna give him a taste? You wanna hear it? You wanna hear something? Hell yeah. yeah. Let's hear it. So, come on, man. Yeah. Run it. Cut it out, Yo, man. All right, you can play uh, some of it. The king of, the king of crowd,